Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Professor Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I'm a professor of psychiatry at the Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi, which is the oldest living city in the world, uh, arguably. And I am the uh, campaign director of the Kushali campaign, which, which is a nationwide campaign for a stress-free, healthy, and happy world. It's good to be with you today. And we're going to talk a bit about mental health because World Mental Health Day is coming. The 10th of October is World Mental Health Day. Every year since 1992, this special day is there, which reminds us that the master of the health is mental health because the mind is the master. What the mind feels, the body follows. So the mind is the commander. And when we talk about mental health, we talk about quality. It is all about quality. There is no mortality. There is morbidity. So the quality, as you have in any business, if your quality mandate is good, then you have a good business. Similarly, if your quality of your health is good, then you are happy. Now, what does quality of health mean for every person? today and that is the p is all about power having power having a position next p the third p is passive and profits profits is the fourth p and the fifth is you're always in the public eye always want to be in the public eye always in the public eye these are the five P's that everybody wants. They want power, they want a position, they want pass up, they want a lot of profits, and they want to be in the eyes of the public all the time. But when we talk about happiness and when we talk about a healthy and meaningful life, it's not just about the P's because the P is a pathway and the H is happiness. So what about the H? So we're fixing, we're, we're shifting to other assets. Of course, a business that you have is an asset of yours, but we're shifting to other assets. And I believe in Kushali campaign, I always say, ask yourself one question. Is your life limited to your business, to your job? If the answer to this is yes, then my dear folks, you're not living. So start living, and how do you start living? Well, you have other assets also. Your other assets, apart from your business, are yourself, your habits, your health, and your happiness. Yourself, try to make yourself better. You have a lot of problems. How is your problem solving? We always concentrate on developing a better business, but try to develop better you. Try to develop better problem solving. Be more creative. What is the awareness to yourself? How much do you know yourself? Ask yourself that. What about your interpersonal relationships? How are they? How many friends, real friends, not virtual? How many real friends do you have? How good is your stress management? Do you manage your stress by smoking a cigarette or having a, a peg to drown yourself? Well, that's not correct. How empathetic are you? What is the level of your decision making? How good a communicator are you? And how well do you manage your emotions? There are so many things in a person's life in which you get emotions. All of these things, today I ask you, concentrate on these particular things. Ask yourself, who? You are. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Not only in terms of your business, but you as a person. Because we know that man is a social animal. So shifting from self, the other asset that you have, because you are a social animal, is the society. How, how is the society an asset for you? Well, it's your gateway to a larger world. If you don't interact with the society, you cannot transform yourself into the larger world. And 
what is it? What are the seven cues that possibly can give you a very good potential in your interrelationship with the society? I'm going to share that with you today. This is part of the Kushali model. The first and foremost is an act of kindness. We say many times it is said actions speak louder than words. An act of kindness truly speaks louder than words. It is a universal language. It's understood by all. So place these kind acts in your routine. Make it a habit. Make that a repeatable phenomenon. I don't just say, I did this yesterday, do it today too. A lot of neurochemicals are also involved in that. You have the love hormone, the binding hormone, the relationship hormone, oxytocin, dopamine, serotonin, and so many other neurochemicals, which really give you a lot of happiness, which gives you a lot of satisfaction. They are released. So mind you, in whatever you do, your brain is always involved. So the first of the seven is do those kind acts. They can be very small. I'm not saying leave your job, leave your business. In your business, help somebody. That somebody should be somebody who is not known to you, should not be your friend. In fact, everybody in this world is a companion. So a stranger is also your companion because he's part of the society. So do those acts of kindness. The second pathway to happiness is staying abreast with the times. Update yourself, upgrade yourself. And this updating and upgrading yourself not only implies with your business, it also implies with your other asset that is yourself and update and upgrade yourself with the society always strike a parameter with the society so that you have a meaningful fulfilling life the third pathway to happiness is staying close to nature staying close to nature we say a morning walk it may be very very simple but happiness is very simple and you do that believe you me you will get a whole lot of happiness. You will have a really fulfilling life because a lot of emotional regulation arises from all of those neurochemicals which are secreted when you're close to nature. It has been shown that your memory improves also. Also, it's been shown that your stress management also improves because the level of cortisol, that is the stress hormone, that goes down and you can keep it in check. So the next time you go for a 30-minute walk, don't walk on your roof, don't walk in your garden. We'll walk around the greenery. Greenery is very, very important. And staying close to nature gives you a feel of the real, real situation, the real ground reality. The fourth thing, the, the other problem with the pathway to happiness is self-doubt. We always create, our mind creates a lot of doubt within ourselves. That self-doubt is always there. Today I ask you, remove, eliminate three words from your life. Those three words are if, a but, and a maybe. No ifs, no buts, no maybe, no self-doubt, and you're brimming to go ahead. The fifth pathway to happiness is well, we know that life has got a whole lot of ups and downs. We don't know what is there in tomorrow. That's why we say live in today. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And that is the uncertainty of life is the great love. It is the great natural beauty of life that it is so uncertain. And we have to learn to enjoy the struggle associated with this uncertainty. That is the next pathway. Enjoy the struggle of dealing with the uncertainties which life proposes each day, each night, each day. The sixth pathway to happiness is 
time management and one of the foremost things you know a whole lot of things about time management but i'd like time management with criticism avoid criticism i sincerely believe it hinders progress because it's just a sheer waste of time you gain nothing by criticizing someone so don't waste your time your time is precious and when you criticize someone a lot of those neurochemicals associated with anxiety and stress they get released so you don't really feel you very good about it when you criticize somebody else you're not very happy about it you're also very on edge you're very uneasy about things not not, not at all happy the next pathway is be always open to suggestions that is we say always hear people when you communicate communication should not be a one way channel you are speaking and the other person is listening start to listen that is the other pathway when you listen you can listen to a whole lot of suggestions be open to those suggestions put them in your brain process them in your brain try to find out which are good which are bad and somebody may also tell you how to improve can also tell you your weaknesses listen to them also because those are your maladaptive behaviors if you get angry soon and if somebody says be always on edge you're you're easily you're you're too sensitive don't be so sensitive listen to that and work on that because you are to have a better life it is enshrined in your life that you will have a good quantity and a good quality of life we should live on more than 80 plus and a 80 plus life should be of quality happiness that quality happiness will definitely be there once we engage in this pathway to happiness and the first is the acts of kindness and always remember when you in when you always remember these seven golden paths to happiness are very very easy you just have to put them into your lifestyle and once you start putting them in they are like capsules so we call them the kushali capsules so i've given you seven capsules today to take you could take a capsule every day and different capsules every day so one day you can practice kindness the other day you can uh start to update and upgrade yourself but all of these capsules will only work once you swallow them once you put them into your system so i encourage you to put them into your system and lastly of course we know there's a whole lot of negative stress everything around us is full of stress so i, I believe earnestly that if you are to remain healthy i ask people well are you in stress and they know no i'm healthy perfectly healthy well you are healthy that's very good but in order to remain healthy you need to understand that there are a whole lot of tantrums that the time is going to put upon you and you're going to have to protect yourself and to cope with all of these stresses so always be ready with the elimination of the negative stress energies in your body there should be no negative stress energy in your body and how to remove that very very simple deep breathing exercises put in a mobile alarm for 5 minutes and for 5 minutes practice deep breathing when you inhale inhale slowly then keep it inside for 30 to 40 seconds or 50 seconds whichever comes naturally to you and then exhale the inhaling should be very slow the exhaling should be rapid we exhale toxic substances we don't want them so whenever we throw our garbage we don't do it slowly we always throw it out so throw it out in a jiffy and put that system again in 
you will do this for five minutes and practice another positive sentence in your mind but it's very well said in hindi i don't know how much it will go along with you but it's very very effective aaj jo hoga acha hoga aaj jo hona hai bahut acha hona hai say this five times this is positive self talk with all of these things i'm quite sure that from now on you're going to develop your business also and you're going to develop your other assets also and that is a bigger asset that is you yourself and your interrelationship with the society after that you are going to have a splendid most happy most fulfilling and most meaningful life i wish you all the very very best thank you very much